Hey, what is up guys? It's Kevin back again with a quick new video just showing you guys what I've been doing and what I've been working on. Now, the story behind this car is I picked it up for $300. Uh, the people knew it needed a head gasket. <clears throat> it would still start up, but it had a sputter to it. So it was about an hour away from the house. Went down there, picked it up, clean, clear title. It wound up being a lot more than just head gasket. So let me show you what it is. This is a 2001 Mitsubishi Eclipse, and of course it has the 2.4 liter four-cylinder engine, basically the same engine that comes into Mitsubishi Galants, and you can see there it needs a battery, so I did the whole, you know, battery hack from a lawnmower. <clears throat> the body is actually in pretty good condition. The paint's in great condition. Doesn't have any huge dents or anything like that. It was setting up for a little bit um, after they blew the head gasket out or whatever. So, but okay, story with the car is <clears throat> I need a head gasket. Definitely need a head gasket. But once I got the head gasket on, I did the Tom and Belt in the head gasket. And once I got everything back together, I started putting coolant in it and it was just leaking out the back. And I was figuring, well, maybe it was the intake manifold gasket. <clears throat> checked it it wasn't it so what what it actually was is if you can see right through there um, let me see right here these are called freeze plugs you see those little plugs down there right there right there those are freeze plugs basically when you're in super cold weather in the winter or whatever and if you're running just straight water through your coolant system what it does is water will expand um, when it freezes when it turns into ice it'll it'll just expand so those are meant to basically pop out of the block to give the water room to expand instead of like cracking your block or whatever so um, it didn't have one in it so I went to AutoZone pick one up for four bucks and then after that I started putting cool in it again it was leaking again couldn't figure out where it was coming from until let me show you where it was coming from now this right here is basically a tube that runs, this side runs from the water pump and it goes from this side all the way over to the thermostat housing. And it's basically just a, a metal pipe. This is what happened. Now this is metal. Take that in consideration, this is metal. It's gonna take some force to make a hole in a piece of metal like this. So the only thing I could think is if you look down, the, down here, Let's see if I can get over here. It's all rusted out. So I'm thinking this is where the soft spot was from all the rust and it just popped. Sucks. But I actually picked that up from um, Pull Apart for $5 because they consider it consider it just a, a radiator hose. But let me see here. <clears throat> it does start up and run now. Oh, it does start up and run. If I can find the key here, it's a five speed. And just like every other clips of this year, these dashes are just crap. I'm not sure what kind of plastic they used, but every one that I've found besides the blue one about a year back has a crack dash. So let me see here. It has uh, 211,000 miles. Starts up, runs good. It's not overheating, the clutch is good. <clears throat> There's a tiny, tiny grind between the, um, first gear and second gear, but if you take it easy, you don't hear the grind. If you're trying to do it hard, you hear it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, man. I've been, like I said, for the past week and a half, I've been super busy doing this, that, and the other. I don't know if I'm even on my face but yeah I've been super busy doing a whole bunch of different stuff I've been trying to figure out how to edit the videos better now let me know if the sound on this video is better than the last video because I've had a, a I had a couple complaints about it um, the sound not being very good now this is a Nikon camera that I bought from it's a let me see if I can see it's a cool picks from Nikon that I actually got from, from Goodwill for 20 bucks. So hopefully the video and the sound is a lot better than it has been um, because I've been recording off my phone for basically forever. 
And um, what else is going on? Not really too much. I'm gonna get the um, the the Z out probably today or tomorrow, and I wanna make a video of it, do a review on the Z, because a lot of people ask me, well, what is it like owning a Z? Like, what's the problems with it? What issues do you have? How's the maintenance? All that stuff, and I wanna answer those questions. The Porsche, oh, the Porsche I really hadn't done much to. Um, like I said, just because I've been busy. The only thing that I need is the two starter bolts for it, put the starter on, and then kinda of go from there and figure out whether it needs a motor or it's something that I can actually fix. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, do, 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 what else, what else, what else? Uh, okay, today is Monday. I'm gonna upload this video today and then the buy here, pay here video is coming out tomorrow, which is Tuesday. The Today's 26th, 26th, 27th. So um, you guys will have that. I've had a lot of people email me make comments about wanting to see that buy here pay here video so i'm gonna make well i'm gonna upload it tomorrow and upload this today i'll talk to you guys later